And first up at 6 o'clock, look at this video we got from Delaware Park today. The Olmstead Parks Conservancy says it could take more than a month and tens of thousands of dollars to repair all this damage from last night's J.P. Morgan Corporate Challenge. And good evening, everyone. I'm Michael Wooten. And I'm Kelly Dodzig. Scott and Mary Alice are off tonight. Two on your sides, Dave McKinley is live at Delaware Park to tell us about that damage and a fundraising effort being launched to help pay for all those repairs. Dave. The damage was confined to a northeast section of the park. In fact, this area behind me, this is where a tent city for participants and sponsors at the popular 5K race had been set up. The area damaged also includes a small portion of the Delaware Park golf course. The public needs to get ready. Their Delaware Park is just going to look a little bruised for a little while. Take an event attracting 14,000 runners with 28,000 sneakered feet. Fold in what's needed to erect and dismantle the tent city for them to congregate and stir in an already soggy spring, and you have the recipe for one incredible mess. And by this morning, it appeared this one would need more than a sack or two of grass seed to fix. Yeah, it is. It's going to take a lot of equipment to roll it. It's going to take aeration equipment. It's going to take seed and then the time to germinate. And it's going to take money because while J.P. Morgan donates to the Conservancy to stage the event here, the amount won't cover the repairs now needed. We're going to look into insurance, but then we also appeal to the community. We appeal to the 427 companies that were out here last night. You know, if they could make a donation to the Conservancy to, to help us put this right for the other, you know, park users that plan to use the park for the rest of the summer. Things are so sloppy here that they couldn't even get the heavy equipment in that they needed to clean up the tents and such. So they actually had to build up plank road to bring some of that heavy equipment in. When even lighter vehicles could no longer navigate the deeply rutted mud paths without being bogged down, they charted courses beneath the tents where the ground wasn't torn up. Is it time to move this thing to someplace else like UB North or something? It has been here for 39 years and it's a point of pride for us that they come back every single year. We have had 39 corporate challenges in Delaware Park and I think this is the first one where we've seen this level of damage. And she insists had it not been so rainy this spring, the park would have emerged unscathed. In most years, the park can rebound quite quickly. Um, it's this is just a perfect storm situation with another possibly brewing on the horizon. Well, in fact, um, we think that this could be a lather rinse repeat. Unfortunately, at, at MLK this weekend with Juneteenth, as we're expecting more tents and more soggy conditions. While the Olmstead Conservancy maintains the park, it is the city of Buffalo which issues the permits to stage any events within its confines. And Crockett says she hopes in the future that the city will require event sponsors to include a deposit for any damages which may occur. At Delaware Park, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.